try to imagine with me an I complaining of that I'm tired of being an I, I'm tired of, of, of being used to see. I now want to be like the lake, I want to walk. Try to imagine with me the hand complaining that I'm tired of being used to grab this and that. Now I want to be the mouth. My dear brothers and sisters, there will be a tragedy in your life and in my life. If any organ of your body and of my body gets tired of doing what it was created to do and complains that I want to do this and this instead of this and this that I've been doing for years. I want to tell you, my dear brothers and sisters, that the Bible says uh, the church of God that loves so much that Jesus shed his blood for. The church of God that was bought with the precious blood of the Lamb of, of Jesus, of, of the Lamb of God, is like the body. In fact, the Bible even goes on to say it is the body. Let me read for you Ephesians chapter 5, verse, um, verse 30. The Bible says, For we are members of his body, of his flesh and of his bones. So listen to me, my dear friends. Uh, Christ is the head and we are the body. You may be the hand, I may be the leg. What do I mean? I mean when Christ left and went back to heaven to minister as our high priest, guess what? He gave gifts unto us through the ministration of the Holy Spirit. Different gifts. That's why some of us cannot sing and yet you can sing. Some of us cannot preach and yet you maybe you can preach better some are counselors some have been given the gift of wisdom some the gift of knowledge some have been given the gift of healing when they want to see a, a, someone who is sick they, they, they are able to instruct what must be eaten and what must be used as medicine so that that person may come back to life again. I am saying when Christ went back to heaven, he blessed his church with gifts and we need to use those gifts so that the church of God, the body, may function. The hand that, that, that is used to grab should not get tired of grabbing. The eye that is used to see should not get tired of seeing. We need unity in the body of Christ, my dear friends. Let me take you to the family of Lazarus. In Luke chapter 10, 10 we are told that Jesus visited Bethany. And while Mary sat at the feet of Jesus, mother was complaining. Let me tell you, we are given different gifts. Martha was saving. If you are called to save God through your hands and through, 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 through your body, doing this and that, if you are the active member who does things even behind the scenes, you do that without complaining why others are not joining you. If you are called to be the one who sits at the feet of Jesus, if you enjoy worship sitting at the feet of Jesus, do that without complaining why others are not joining you. If you are like Lazarus, we had a testimony of coming back to life. Nothing more to say except that I was dead, but he brought me back to life. Do that without complaining. I am saying, my dear friends, there will be a tragedy in your life if the eye complains of seeing, and if the hand complains of grabbing, and if the legs complain of walking and say, I want to do this now, I am tired. God has given us his spirit so that we may experience unity in the body of Christ. May the Lord bless you as you run in your lane as I run in my lane in this body of Christ.